Well, it's been a might as well day, and take your guesses on what a might as well day is. Uh, so I will give you the chain of events here that led to all of this. So, day before yesterday, I went to change the oil on the Sienna and noticed oily, greasy, all up underneath it. Took a look, saw that the CV axle had torn, or CV boot, and so ordered CV axle. Now here's where we get to our first might as well. Replacing one CV axle, they've been clicking for a while in reverse, and so for replacing the one, might as well replace the other one. They both have almost 200,000 miles on them, 179,000 or something like that, 180, so right, right in there. Uh, so might as well replace the other side. So order two CV axles. So today, took off work to get this done because I've got tons of stuff for the weekend. And so might as well just, might as well take a day off and get this done and if we've got some extra time you know work on a tractor or something so got it torn down got the axle out took a look at the brake pads while i was in here and determined that they were getting a little thin and the rotors have been warped for a while so might as well do a brake job on it there's our what, second third i don't know how many might as well as that is so in here get it all torn down and then go to look start looking around and noticed that control arm bushing right there is torn you can see it's torn it's separated on the back and you can actually take the control arm and move it slightly back and forth so control arms shot or that mount shot so might as well replace the lower control arm took a look at the other side it looks better but it's starting to crack might as well do that side as well so now what started out is one cv axle has turned into two cv axles a brake job and two lower control arms so <laughs> it's a might as well day so just a quick one here let me know what uh one of your might as well days but today's been a might as well day and might as well show you the other side there's that cv axle nothing really wrong with it other than it's got a little bit of looseness in it you can feel in it and it was probably it was probably clicking as well i mean like i said they've got a lot of miles on them so might as well replace both of them and you can see this this boot or this bushing is better but it's it's cracked and not long for this world so still got to tear down the brakes on this side and i've got to undo the engine mounts in the back and we may determine that the engine mounts are no good and if they are no good then we might as well replace them but uh not replacing them yet until i get them out and see but you have to take them out so you can get to this bolt here to get the control arm out so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to jack it up a little bit, undo the bottom bolts here, and take those out. So luckily everything has gone fairly smoothly. The only thing that really fought me was that bearing, that support bearing on the other axle, and the the splines on the other axle. Uh, it was stuck in the hub, and I ended up having to get a sledgehammer out to get it loose. Uh, I, I tried my, normally I use my little two pound uh, hammer, and it normally, get some right out and it wouldn't do it so ended up getting the sledgehammer out and it, it persuaded the splines to let go so got it out and then used my air hammer to actually get on the back side of that support bearing and drive it out so it actually worked pretty well so luckily things have gone smoothly if you're doing this kind of job uh, in the rust climate i pity you so yeah. Let me know. Let me know your might as well day. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.